Hi there, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host of Dear Cyber Soup. Today's question is, should I leave my ex's photos on my social media or should I delete them? But you should always cherish your time that you had with anybody that was in your life that treated you well. Obviously, if it was an abusive partner, you don't want anything to do with them that way. But if it was somebody that you had special time with, you had a lot of great memories with, then I think it's important to weigh it out very carefully. If you're in a new relationship with somebody and you've got these intimate photos that are sitting up on all your sites, that's not very you know, considerate for the new person coming in. What I suggest to do here, if, if you are dating now and you're seeing someone else, is keep a few photos up of maybe you know when you're with a group of people or a special event keep that the couple of those photos up it also lets your your ex-partner know that they weren't nothing in your life they valued the time you had with them you just maybe weren't a good fit long term but don't keep up anything that is remotely intimate no kissing hugging arms around each other those kind of things because it's not it's not good for the new person coming in and also, if you were the one that ended the relationship, keeping all those photos up just kind of gives your ex a, a feeling of maybe there's a chance that you can reconcile with each other. If you take down a lot of them but leave one or two up, they'll get the message a little louder that way that you are moving on, but that you did care about them. And I think that's really important to put that out there to somebody who was in your life for a decent amount of time. Another thing too, if you keep a few photos up, when you're feeling a little stronger or healthier after the relationship has ended, you go back and you look at them, you can look at them with a smile, right? And reflect on them as a happy time for that, that frame of time that you had together. That it's, it was something that was really good and you can smile at it. I think what happens is when people break up, a lot of things are really harsh really quickly. And everybody's left to sit there and wonder why the it you know what the hell you even had together. If you don't, if you're not considerate about how you end things with people, and and you know either keeping all the photos up or taking them all down, you have to sort of weigh it out very carefully here. If it was a mutual situation where you both just ended it on an even keel, well, you guys can talk about what photos you want to leave up. But I think for the most part. You're going to be in another relationship down the road, so it's going to be more about how that person feels coming in, seeing all these wonderfully romantic photos of the two of you. Just because you get along doesn't mean that your new partner is going to be okay with that. So think about all these things. I really think it helps to pay attention to it. Don't be angry enough to take everything down. I think you'll regret it. Again, unless they were abusive or anything remotely like that, then you really don't want to you don't want to have memories of that. You want to move on to a much healthier place. So you want to get rid of it. So that's my, my sort of situation that I'd like to put out there. If anybody else has any ideas about what they've done with their photos, what, what worked for them, what didn't work for them, please leave your comments below this video today. Subscribe to my channel. And thanks again for visiting me here at CyberSoup. Thanks everyone. Bye.